one by one, more than 200 Marines walked off a plane at Miramar. Well, they're back in San Diego with their families tonight. 10 News reporter Craig Herrera has the emotional reunions from MCAS Miramar and what's next for the troops. Kristen Hurd used a zoom lens on her camera to spot her husband as he walked off this plane that brought him back home from Afghanistan. There were tears of joy that ran down her face as she held their two children and kissed Sergeant Rashad Hurd, a perfect welcome home from his second deployment. Oh, it feels wonderful, sir. I love being home. Just so glad he's home and safe. He was there fixing airplanes in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. Supporting all the other Marines out there. Try and do what we can do to best get this um, fight done. More than 200 Marines were welcomed by cheering family members and friends. This might be the one, the, the largest one we see uh, coming at least through here in uh, Miramar this year. They were gone one year and provided all the aviation support, including air assault, close air support, and transportation for different militaries operating in all of southwestern Afghanistan. They were in charge of all the aviation support, so all the flying for southern Afghanistan and the troops there. It's still uncertain if they will have another deployment. It's hard to say. Um, I know there's uh, there's been a lot of talk about what troop levels will be like in the future, and uh, I think we're just going to stand by and be ready to support for whatever that means to us. For now, most are just going home to enjoy some much-needed time with their family and friends. Relax for the day, enjoy my kids, watch them, let her get some sleep. <laughs> At MCAS Miramar, Craig Herrera, 10 News. Well deserved. Now, the Marines could not confirm exactly how many troops are still in Afghanistan, but told 10 News there are several thousand Marines still in Afghanistan. Several hundred of them are based at Miramar. Love those smiles.